Now, of course, the Olympics might be on, but we've got our own political Olympians in there, the bronze medalist of politics. Gold medalist. Bronze, gold medalist, whatever. <laughs> also, we're talking about GP visits. How much does yours cost? Uh, and we're also talking about Helen Clark at the UN. Is it treachery not to support her? I'm Willis Chapman. And I'm Hayley Holt. Welcome to Pub Politics As It Happens, Backbenchers. Let's rock and roll. Great to be here. Great to be back in our Taranga Waiwai, back at the iconic Backbender Tavern here. And if you look, we've only got seven shows to go, so come down for a meal, fish of the day, glass of wine. We'd love to see you. Great night uh, last week in Auckland City, but what a panel tonight. The Olympians of politics here. Please, will you welcome a good big round of applause for co leader of the Māori Party, Marama Fox. Yeah! <laughs> Marama, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, All Willis. right, quick question. If you, were, if you were an Olympian, what would be your sport? I was going to say standing next to Jono, that basketball, but I don't, <laughs> they just don't coach height. So I'm going to go with hot dog eating. Hot dog eating? It's a thing. Uh, do you know, it is a thing. It, it is. is a thing. I'll make it a thing. Yeah. But is it a sport? Hell yes. Hell. <laughs> you want to be in my house for dinner. <laughs> hey, uh, no, we've, got the, uh, the, we've got the crystal ball here. We use this every so often. The sort of, uh, uh, Hayley, could you, uh, how, how are you? I'm good, thank you. All how right, are you? Uh, now this, is, this, is, this tells the future. Uh, so shake it up. This is for Marama Fox. Will Helen Clark be elected UN Secretary General? <laughs> what does it say? No it chance says, What does it say? You can't tell now. That's right. Yeah. You can't tell now. <laughs> All right. Would you like you to be uh, elected Secretary General? I'd like somebody who looks after Indigenous rights and makes sure that when they send people out around the world to respond to crisis, that they understand what that means. That's a yes. We will talk. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about that. We will talk about that. Uh, hey, look, a big round of applause for uh, List MP for Palmerston North, Jono Naylor. <laughs> How are you, Jono? I'm doing well. All right, if you were an Olympian, what sport would it be for you? Um, pole vault. Because it's sort of like one of those things where you're running up and you're looking at like something that's absolutely impossible, and all of a sudden they seem to achieve the impossible and look really cool while they're doing it. <laughs> Have you tried it? No, I'm too scared. Too, no, same here. Too, yeah. Yeah. All right, crystal ball, here we go. Shake it up. Will John O'Naylor be the man that replaces John Key? Most likely. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What? I'd vote for Jono. Doesn't I, lie. I'm, I'm protecting him from Smith Collins. There's, there's no answer for that, right? I'd vote for him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Any ambition to? Uh, no, no, oh, no, no, forget no, about it. So. All right. I'll, I'll no. vote for him. Uh, Chris, Crystal Ball, is Palmerston North the greatest little city in New Zealand? <laughs> That's a definite yes, that one. <laughs> if you like floaties. <laughs> It says yes. Come Whoa, on! Oh my on. gosh! <laughs> on yes. a roll. All right, great to have you on the show. Uh, and a big round of applause for Labour MP David Cunliffe. <laughs> David. All right. If you if you were an Olympian, what sport would you be? Oh, rugby seven. Sunny Bill's out. There's a gap. There's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not my kind of gap. <laughs> Maybe right. I wouldn't fit through that gap. Okay. But, hey, and, best of luck to Sunny. And the crystal ball for David Cunliffe. What animal was David Cunliffe in his previous life? Ooh. It says a cat. Oh. oh, there you go. There you go. Nine lives. Nine lives. Very, very good. <laughs> good, to have, good to have you on the show. Um, top five. How did, how did it go this week? Yes, yeah, so it was good because, you know, the politi politicians are back in Wellington. Ooh. We're back in Wellington. Yep. So we've got them in the top five. We have to wait to the end, though. Here it is. Last week, we brought you a very special song from a Trump super fan. And this week we scoured the internet for this charming little ditty for people who love the human ration even more. Hey Donald, and they ain't one that follows. You gave us your reason to be president, but we hate Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, nigga, fuck Donald Trump. I don't like your yeah, ass. Yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Or not. Of course, if that song was about Canadian PM Justin Trudeau, it would mean something very different. Especially if I add the words, I would, to it. Oh, oh my God. 
It's not just hot politicians that caught my eye this week. The Olympics have loads of eye candy. Many hearts were a flutter when our own Blair Chook and Peter Burling carried the flag. That was until Tonga came along, causing women around the globe to lose their sh- much like this repulsive display of inappropriate touching. Come on, we're listening. It's embarrassing and wrong on so many levels. While the world debates inequality, New Zealand's housing crisis is making international headlines. But here in Auckland, the rapid rise in house values and rents and an acute shortage of social housing means that for many families, like the one living in this garage, Housing has become a huge challenge. Ooh, awkward. But maybe the block has the answer for homelessness. Repairing four houses in ten weeks. John Key, pick up the phone. Everyone and finally, Parliament is at last back at work after a four-week holiday. Isn't it time that he got off his backside and he and his government got him behind Kiwis who want to own their own home and just built some bloody houses. A soundbite does not make a plan. Uh, Welcome back. We missed you. You hear the applause there? You hear the applause? Can I hear that again? <laughs> Jonah, hey, before, we, before you get into the show, a uh, little bit of a, a protest, uh, a, 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 a campaign of two over here. If, you just, uh, if I go here, because we were in Auckland last week, packed house here, I see a sign, bring back vendors to Christchurch. Yeah. Who's the Cantabrian here? What's your name? Matt. Why go to Christchurch? Well, there's a lot of issues in Christchurch at the moment that I think are being ignored um, centrally. And uh, plus, I own a pub that would be, oh, I don't own, sorry, I manage a pub that would be a very appropriate venue. All right, here you go. You've got the camera there. <laughs> Speak to our boss. The Twisted Hop Christchurch. I'd love to see you there next year. <laughs> a round of applause for Cantab's here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Mm-hmm.